Don't uh, point the camera at the... Oh, we're live! We're live! We're, we're live! Oh. This is Monty. Hi. Monty yeah. is the best cable installer that I know, that I have. He's extremely detail-oriented. So, uh, actually, how you doing? I don't know if I can, if I'm on here or not, but yeah, let's... Yeah, uh, I'm to check it, but it's still... It's probably, we probably got to get so far yeah. in for it. Yeah, well, welcome to my channel. And today, what we are doing is uh, everybody asks us when we do installs, can we do a video of the install? And we are um, we are on site with one of our clients, and we are uh, Monty. You can see Monty has the cable pulled through the conduits. He's got cable resting uh, up here. And uh, I can see you guys commenting on the screen, so that's awesome. You want me to rotate it this way? Turn your camera horizontal. See, I love it. We've got 50 pe that's 52 perfect. people on. Wait a minute. Now, now they're saying perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, so once again, this is Monty. Monty is awesome. Uh, Monty pulls cable. Monty knows networking. Uh, Monty is, uh, well, that's better. What we hmm. yeah. Oh, dude, that's incestuous. we got to stop that. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, once again, sorry, uh, I don't want to get my double chin there. Uh, this is the first time we've ever gone live from a phone. The next time we do this, the next time we do live network, it will be from a better camera, but this is yeah. kind of like uh, off, the, mm -hmm. off the cuff. And, um, you know, so we just wanted to do this because people ask about our installs. So Monty uh, has got all of his cabling up here. He's going to put... Uh, the rack together. Now, uh, one thing you may notice is if we come over here, yes, we are several feet up off the ground, and so the the network location is up here uh, on top of this office, but the beautiful part is there's an air conditioning duct right here. So, uh, what else? Uh, it, I mean, the temperature is really, I think it's ideal right here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And um, with the uh, I don't know how to go in landscape mode. How do we go in landscape mode? Yeah, a lot of people. Man. I know. Hey, Nambia. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't want to push any buttons and blow anything up. But um, so uh, let's take a look. Uh, this is the rack. This is an enclosed rack that just rotate the camera. So I did that. <laughs> uh, but my auto rotate must not unlock auto rotation. <laughs> yeah. The phones. yeah, let's see. Uh, pull your screen down. Yeah, like, somebody says we would probably have to start the live feed over. It took like do you have it? it took like five minutes to get this this thing going yeah, here. Ah, hold on a second. All right, so now what we did is we just unlocked. We All right. might have to start it. Again. Yeah, boy. And no, this is not an iPhone, Jacob. Uh, this is a Samsung, uh, not the exploding model. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to start it over. We got 68 people on here, five thumbs up, no thumbs down yet. I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's good. Because usually I track some trolls and they give us a thumbs down out of the gate. But 15, what are you going to do? 15,000 subscriber, we blow your phone up? If <laughs> when, we get, when we get to 15,000 subscribers, this phone, you can't see it. But this phone that we're recording on, we will, uh, uh, we will, we will shoot this phone. Shoot it. We will shoot it. We will freeze it with liquid nitrogen, and then we will shoot it. Do you think we have thermite? Anyone find thermite? We can make thermite. We'll do thermite too. Anyway, all right. So back to the uh, <laughs> Monty and I can digress all day. So on the uh, server cabinet, it's got fans on the top. So and then the bottom it's is is vented. It has wheels. Uh, the wheels on the rack go round and round. Uh, so I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with this. Um, if you go to Amazon and use my affiliate links, you can get the same uh, cabinet for about $400. Then what we've got over here, uh, somebody said, is that a na nav point, nav point rack? Uh, it sure, it sure is. So whoever, uh, whoever guessed that, ding, 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 ding. Uh, shoot me an email. Uh, we'll see if I can get got something to give away to you there. Um, all the the pieces down here. So let's take a look at what is gonna uh, comprise. Give him a cookie. 
I don't know where he lives. Um, I could stick it in a bag and hope that it stays moist on the trip, but not too moist. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so yeah, sorry about the vertical video. This is our first time live from a phone, so there's going to be mistakes, and we're always learning. So, but uh, all right. So here we've got uh, one Unify 24 port switch. We've got another one of those there. Uh, the server, you can't see the server. It's on the ground, but uh, we are installing uh, Windows Server 2016 Essentials. And actually, Tim Bear, who I don't know, I know he's watching the live feed and he tried to buzz in. Um, I don't know if he's going to come pick the server up today, but he's actually doing that portion of this. All right, so back to this. What we've got is we've got the server downstairs. We've got a, a Unify switch 250 watt here. We've got a second 250 watt. Then we've got a five pack of the G3 cameras, right? So we're doing security. The NVR has not been delivered yet. Um, let's see. Then what we've got is we've got the USG3 that's going in. Uh, Jacob, this is a patch panel. This is not a switch, sorry. This is the patch panel and we actually, uh, this, uh, uh, hey Gary Johnson, I don't know if you're the governor and the guy that ran for president, but I would have to start over. So uh, next live stream, we'll get that straightened out. Hello, NetTool, my favorite networking uh, utility. I love those guys. Uh, hey, Steven. Yeah, I, Gary Johnson. Uh, hi, man. I, I I don't know if that's if that's the real Gary Johnson or what. But this uh, trend net, this is actually a patch panel, and the the network. <laughs> even though we built some growth in when we started designing this, uh, once uh, Monty got on site and was working with the owner, um, the network has actually grown quite a bit. So here's the tw the trend net 24 uh, port patch panel. Standard 110 on the back. So uh, Monty will have to get another one of these ordered this week. Hello, UK. All right, so we talked about that. So is the server still down there, Monty? It's uh, around back. Oh, it's around back. We took the server back around back. We've got an assortment of patch cables. Um, let's see. Then what we've got over here is uh, in case the cameras, you know, Ubiquiti is switching everything over to standard PoE uh, on the Unify side, going away from, passive. Uh, yeah, the passive PoE. So uh, we didn't know what stock we would get with that five pack, whether it would be cameras that could handle the standard PoE or not. So for a little bit of insurance, we went ahead and bought the uh, adapters that we would need uh, uh, just in case. So, because a lot of the new switches, even in the software, they have disabled um, being able to, uh, yeah, enable the passive PoE. Uh, let's see. So then, we've got two, uh, hello Utah, Steven, how you there? Um, let's see. Let's see, somebody said that this doesn't seem like a very safe workplace. Do you, do you feel safe up here? I mean, it's safe up here. Yeah, it's definitely safe up here. Don't show them this, the ladder. This thing is, is sturdy. Uh, the only thing, we do uh, have some stuff that we're supposed to put around the edges that Monty has up here. Uh, cones and such mm -hmm. to keep us from, uh, from going over the edge. So, uh, I am glad that you are all concerned about our safety. And uh, I appreciate that. Um, so, somebody says Synology. So, this is a... Uh, DS216SE. So what's going to happen is from the Windows server, we're going to back up to this guy. And then this guy is going to replicate off-site to the owner's house. So uh, he doesn't have to play, pay for cloud storage or any of that stuff. Uh, then, of course, we've got our cloud key. Uh, Ryan Williams, are you doing the wire pulls too? So, uh, Brian, I, uh, uh, Frober, Freeber, I am not disclosing, uh, the name or the location of this company. Uh, sorry to break your heart on that. You can give me a thumbs down for that, but, uh, uh, I am not going to disclose the company name. Uh, and I'm also not going to disclose the city. It is in the state of Illinois. That is all I will tell you. 
Uh, so um, we've got the cloud key here. And yes, uh, Ryan, I did not personally pull the cables. Monty pulled the cables. And uh, Monty is one of the best cabling guys. Um, that's okay, Brian. Uh, look, look at my last video. I don't have the number memorized. If you look at the last video, I've got a phone number for a PBX system that I'm testing. And uh, feel free to give me a buzz when I am around the phone. Um, uh, yes, member question mark. Remember to put up your safety barrier. Remember to put up your safety barrier. Um, so for now, we will uh, we'll put some other stuff over here so we don't, until uh, Monty gets that up and going. We've got uh, StarTech going here. We've got uh, CyberPower uh, UPS that's going to go in the rack. We've got the Synology uh, hard drives, uh, patch cables, Velcro, and then uh, I brought, uh, I always bring tools no matter whether I'm going to need them or not. This is one of my favorite. Um, if you're not familiar with the Ryobi or Re Ryobi uh, 18 volt lithium ion system, these things are awesome. They are, hey Eric in Chicago, they are uh, uh, not that expensive and they work, um, you know, they work fantastic and they're very inexpensive. Um, and for what we do, they work. They work great. And then I also have a smaller uh, Craftsman electric screwdriver. It's uh, also uh, lithium ion. So, um, yeah, somebody said that the, the current job you're watching is normal for most of us installers. You know, and I will tell you, you know, Monty brought up the safety barriers, but we, we literally, we unloaded all this stuff we literally unloaded this and Monty turns around and I said, are you ready to go live? And he goes, he goes, what'd you say? He's like, I don't know. What I <laughs> he was like, what? And I'm like, oh, let's go live. Um, so, uh, it's, it's, you know, we, we just really started this. Monty got here a little bit before me. And, uh, so here we are and this network, I think the move in date is the end of July. Yeah. for this company and we should be ready um hopefully by the end of uh like middle of next week yeah so uh what i'm going to do today is i'm going to get all the gear uh racked up over here in the rack we're going to put the rack over here you can see where the quad receptacle is going to go in down here uh for this so everything will be in the rack uh, i will start my documentation and um you know we will uh is Monty there of his own free will? Uh, is my nickname free will? No, Monty is here because uh, Monty uh, uh, was contacted by the owner after I uh, suggested him, and Monty uh, wanted to um, do this job. And, and uh, Monty often helps me out in my consulting. Yeah. So uh, I don't have a YouTube channel to plug. He doesn't have a YouTube channel yet. I keep telling him we should do a podcast. You guys would get a kick out of uh, some of the conversations we have in the evening, like uh, how much does it cost to buy the city of San Francisco? Can, can Bill Gates buy San Francisco? How much blood does it take to actually make a sword? Uh, what was that other one? Uh, whether or not it's uh, actually cost effective to Bitcoin farm off of USB mining tools. Yes. Uh, are we using rack studs for putting the equipment on the rack? Well, if you want to call us a couple rack studs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Uh, we are using uh, all of the uh, hardware that came with with the rack. So I don't have a lot of cool sponsors like some of my uh, YouTube counterparts yet that are sending me uh, free gear. Um, Sponsored by oxygen. Yes. Uh, water. Um, a lot of sweat. There's a lot of sweat going on. We can sponsor that. Awesome. Hey, look at that. Uh, Natul is going to drop four pieces of hardware to us for a giveaway. Oh, that's awesome. That is. Uh, and uh, that's fantastic. Yes, we do have a, a nice rack. So thank you, Natul. We appreciate that. That is so awesome. Um, so we've got all of our, uh, we're the uh, G3 cameras right here. 
and I'm going to kind of try to work around Monty because he is trying to get this rack put together uh, because he has to go to another job at one o'clock <laughs> and uh, I have to mow the grass today <laughs> and do some stuff for my day job. So, um, so here are the uh, Unify G3s. Let's see if we can get these. Do you know how hard it is to do some of this stuff? Man, that is so awesome having a second set of hands. Tell him what he wins, Vanna. All right. So here, here's what a five pack of G3s looks like. Um, each camera comes wrapped individually. There's the, the mounting hardware. You've got the bladder, the cable bladder, then the screws that came with it. And I'm going to lift this out of here. And the one thing that you're going to notice is missing is that it never came with the poe injectors now the last time that i bought a five pack it showed up in a separate package oh, I thought like were... we got them and they showed up this time we never got any um we never got any poe injectors so it's a good thing that we've got uh, the switches and everything and and if it turns out that this uh switch can still do the uh passive you know we will uh use that. we will use that instead of using the converters but what I don't know is that at some point in a software update, if they're going to disable that. Ooh, yeah. So if they disable it, then we'll still have uh, the adapters to take mm -hmm. care of that. So um, Tim Bear just uh, pinged me and uh, asked if we were going to be here until noon. And Tim, if you're watching, will probably not be here at noon. It's supposed to rain today. And so... Uh, I'll probably be leaving about noon 30. Noon 30 for him. I'll probably be out of here a little bit before that. Um, need to head mount. So if I head mounted it, I couldn't see all your guys' questions, but you would see my my point of view. And man, that could be scary if I forgot to turn the Unless phone off. Unless you get Google Glass. If somebody wants to donate a Google Glass. Uh, if some, yeah, if somebody, uh, if somebody wants Glass. to donate a Google Glass. Yeah, that would be awesome. We will wear the Google Glass during all of our installs. I'll wear it all the time. Monty will wear it all the time. Uh, Monty, you should become a contributor to the channel. I'll give you admin access, and you just upload videos. Sure, I don't really. You do the cable in videos, cameras, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, tools to do punch down? You want to show some of the tools you're going to use I don't for have that? My punch down tool. Admit. Doesn't have his punch down tool with him. Um, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Yeah, it happens to all of us. Uh, so let's look at the hard drives that we're going to put in the Synology. I love it. The internet's laughing at me trying to struggle open <laughs> one of these. All right, so what we've got going in the Synology, um, since, since it's only going to be, and you can all start yelling at me right now. You can all start yelling. I'm going to sit down. <sighs> you can all start yelling at me right now. But what we did, Tim and I uh, came up with this. So they are <laughs> defeated by carb cardboard that's hilarious um yes i know the vertical video uh thank you we will correct that next time uh so what we've got here is western digital uh nas drives they're two terabytes and the reason that we didn't go um with like a gold drive on this is because the they're not going to be accessing the files from the synology all the time what's going to happen is the windows server it's right here. Um, if you're interested in Windows Server, um, I would rather that you see uh, that you use um, Linux and you know you can email me about how to replace your Windows box with Linux. Um, there is some management differences and that's really where the, the big differences are um, in, in uh, <clears throat> between Windows and Linux at this point is the manageability and what it takes to do that. But uh, you can see that this is Windows Server Essentials 2016, um, one to two CPU version. And so you get so many cals with this and you don't have to worry about it. It maxes you out at the number that the, uh, I can't remember if it's 25 or 50, but uh, you get this, you don't have to worry about buying cals and you get all the software. So um, this, this works good if, if people want to manage Windows servers. And Tim is going to do this install. And then I'm going to come in behind Tim. And we've got this Synology, this uh, DS216SE. And 
and you'll see that this is the little dude here. Uh, Mike uh, Hosker says he thinks it's 25 users and 50 computers uh, for the Windows Server 2016, and I think that is correct. Um, let's see here. Yes, 25, 25 users. Thank you all for contributing. Can you uh, pull that up there? Teamwork, teamwork. All right, so uh, this this guy is uh, going to be uh, sitting on the LAN and uh, the Windows server every night will um, run a script. Windows server will run a script that backs up to this. And then we will do a Synology to Synology replication offsite at the owner's house. And uh, that way that if anything happens to this physical location, the owner's still gonna have all of his data offsite. So uh, the model on this, again, is the, uh, it's the DS 216SE. Yeah, the Windows Server as a backup tool works okay. Um, it creates that image and then you can mount the image. Um, I like to do file level backups as well as uh, like images. So like when I'm doing VMware, we use Veeam. And so Veeam allows us to replicate those to a warm site. And then once we have those replicated, I still do a file level backup and those backups are actually in two different locations. So um, here's hoping his upload speed is good at home. So at, at home... Yeah, it looks a little buggy whenever I was looking at it. What, his upload speed? Oh, I, I was saying... Oh, never mind. So at his house, it's not the upload speed that's going to matter at his house. It's going to be the download speed because we are sending from this device to his house. So it would be a download to his house. Now he's going to have business class internet here. Uh, and I think he's going to have 20 or 25 megabits up. Now, he doesn't have that many files to begin with, so the initial replication should happen overnight, and it shouldn't be an issue. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, we don't need anything really uh, crazy special here, so that's why, we, that's why we went with this. If we had, um, you know, we run, like, the... Uh, the five disc models uh, at other locations. And then uh, if you follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, you'll see where we've done some of the two U appliances, uh, the ones that where you can, I think we can do 10 or 12 chassis uh, with those. You can also do the high availability, all that good stuff. So the two terabyte drives are going in here. I don't know if anybody here likes to shoot fireworks, but sitting here around all the, this equipment kind of reminds me of, uh, kind of reminds me of going to the fireworks store and bringing home all your fireworks and sitting around and opening fireworks. What's Christmas day? Yeah, this doesn't smell as good as fireworks, but Especially so we've got a, uh, a cyber power UPS that's going to go in the rack. We've got all of these patch cables. We, we uh, ordered uh, assorted lengths. So I think there's some one footers because um, directly underneath, directly underneath each patch panel, directly underneath each of these, uh, there will be a switch. And so uh, because we're building this from the ground up, we've had a, ch you know, we get to decide Where's the cabling going? Where are the switches going? And so we're not going to need a lot of external um, cable management, which is really nice. So, and yes, this is a Cat 6 uh, patch panel along with the Cat, Cat 6 cable over there. Cat 6 keystone jacks. Uh, do you have the keystone jacks yet? They're on my car. Okay. Well, maybe we'll show you the keystone jacks and stuff like that too before we... Uh, we get out of here. So, uh, do y'all want to see me open some more of this Ubiquity gear real quick? Somebody give me a thumbs up or a comment real quick. No, they all hate you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what about using a Keystone patch panel? Uh, that came from from Brian. Um, we looked at those, but 
you know, we decided um, this is going to be a smaller install. It will not get much uh, bigger than two patch panels. If it if if Monty fills two patch panels at this location, I'm going to be super surprised. I'd be pretty happy about it. Yeah. So okay, so somebody says uh, I want to see the server, and then somebody else says I want to see the UBNT box. All right, so let's do this. Let's open the Ubiquity gear, and then. Against my better judgment, we'll show the server. Okay, sounds good. That's not really against my better judgment. It's just uh, Monty's got to go down the ladder and then bring it back up here. So. Well, he's not a ladder guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, we get along good enough for what we got to do. Um, Willie, you mentioned you were testing. Uh, I cannot at this point talk about which voice over IP service I'm testing. Uh, it, it is in is a, uh, a private program at the moment. So as soon as I can give you details on that, I will. But at this time, at this time, I cannot release details about the voice over IP service. I do have more phones coming. I will have more phones on there. Uh, I'm installing an extension on this phone. This Samsung thing that we're recording on right now will have an extension that will follow me um, and so we're really going to put that service to the test along with you know multiple devices so um, all right so real quick let's open up the ubiquity gear I'm, let me see if uh, i can um let's stuff out of your way. this is just awkward let's see if i can prop the phone uh, the joy of Android. Yeah, my Android is a pain. She had uh, uh, those little uh, iPod things. I need to get, what I need to get is an iPhone 7, or I guess the 8 that's coming out or whatever. Monty's looking at me in disappointment, like like I just kicked his dog when I said that I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get an iPhone. I get that, it just works. All right, can you pull up the live stream real quick and make sure this camera angle looks okay? Yeah, um, okay. All right, I hope this camera angle looks okay. I can't see the comments on the back of the phone at the moment. Oh, look, if you can see this, here's my Ubiquity certification shirt. If Chris is on there, he can yell at me about having a certification. Oh, they give you a shirt? That's nice. Yeah, when you get certified, they give you a shirt. So I just need to get like 700 certifications so I never run out of shirts. All right, um, Monty's checking it. Oh, it looks, it looks pretty decent. All right, so here is the USG3. We're gonna open this guy. And hopefully this isn't too much of a distraction for you, Monty. Oh, I'm fine. And you all get to watch Monty put the rack together in real time. Which is... How often weird. do you get to see a dude fondling a rack? It's fantastic on YouTube. All right, so uh, what we've got here is the USG3. It's got the console port, WAN1, one, uh, LAN1, one, and WAN2 slash LAN2. So you can see they've changed the labels on the newer ones as well uh, so that you can do something different with that third port. It came with the uh, quick start guide and then the power adapter and all that good stuff. Set this guy aside. All right, and then we've got the cloud key. So same MO, quick start guide. The cloud key itself comes with this, this plastic. We can pull that off there, put that over in the circular file. And then it's got the eight gig Kingston SD card that came with it. And then of course, this little cable cracks me up. Uh, but anything that's got the U logo on it, that's kind of like silk screened on there, I love this. I love this. I don't know how the video looks right now, so hopefully it's not too bad. It didn't seem too bad. It didn't seem too bad. So there's the cloud key. Which reminds me, you know that uh, motel that we did? Yeah. The uh, uh, the cloud key the, says the network's offline. And I didn't. Did you get a phone call? No. I didn't get a phone call either. So I guess I better call and check that out. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe they kicked us out. Maybe they fired us. Well, we haven't talked to them in a while. <laughs> Monty's not going to be upset if we lose that client. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, um, sometimes you take gigs and you make sacrifices. Um, you make big sacrifices to, to put a notch in the belt and and to uh, get your name out there. And we did a motel job, and um, we really sacrificed for that motel job. We really sacrificed. Um, in fact, I would say we actually lost money. I, I 
I really do think we lost money on the deal. Um, so we won't make that mistake again. Um, we do have the big mall install that's coming up. We're still working out the details on that. So this is the Unify APAC Pro. We've got two of those that are going to be in here. There's going to be one that's going to serve this front office area, and then there's going to be one in the back that serves like the warehouse type area. Uh, we got some nice ubiquity propaganda in here, and then the uh, we have the access point that's got the uh, mounting uh, bracket here. And there's uh, somebody actually 3D printed. Uh, if you go out to Thingiverse, I don't know if you have a 3D printer or not, but somebody 3D printed a tool that if you have these mounted, you can stick the tool in there. It is purposely, it was purpose built to release access points from their, from their uh, mounting rigs. So that's pretty nice. Um, and if you don't have a 3D printer, check out Monoprice. I am not an affiliate, but I do have the Monoprice printer. That's what I use. It's a great value, and to get started, it's an awesome printer. Uh, so, of course, here's our U, and these are the ones that feel like the HD. They've got kind of like that soft, uh, silky, uh, smooth um, finish on them, and uh, almost like a satin, almost like a satin finish. And so this guy is standard PoE, and comes with the ceiling mounting plate, um, the uh, gasket that goes where the ports are, mounting hardware, and then of course the PoE adapter, which we won't uh, be using at this time. Put all this stuff back in here real quick. Every time that I pull one of these out, I, I joke about how it looks like a, 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 a lipstick, tube of lipstick, but this is the uh, converter, the Ubiquity um, Instant 802.3 AF gigabit indoor PoE converter. So this takes uh, standard PoE, knocks it down to uh, passive PoE. But like, if you look at this thing, it's tiny. And this thing is this thing is tiny. Um, and and it really, I, I don't know. Let me see. I've got something to give you. I don't have a banana for scale, uh, but I have like a, a standard, you know, like a <laughs> like a standard screwdriver. So, you know, I don't know if you can see that or not, but these things are not very big and how this would work um, in a real install. Here, we'll, I'll, you know, we're up here, we're, we're unboxing this stuff, so I'll show you how this would work. So here's our first Unify switch, 24 port. Man, I love opening the boxes on these things. Uh, also, I don't, uh, I don't have my monetization. If you remember, my monetization of my channel was taken away. Um, so if you are asking about sending donations, my PayPal link is on my channel. I do appreciate all those. Um, my other videos have my Amazon affiliate links. I always appreciate that. It, it uh, keeps us going, gets us gear. There's going to be another video tonight for a special piece of gear that I ordered for someone who called me on the test phone. They called me Thursday night from the test phone. They were asking about a particular piece of gear. And as much Ubiquity gear as I have um, de deployed and, if, and have in the lab, I didn't have this piece of gear. So I overnighted it, uh, showed up yesterday, and we're going to do a video on that tonight. Just a heads but, up, uh, your frame looks great. Oh, that's awesome. Monty says the frame looks great. How many people are watching? Uh, I don't know, 126. 126, that's awesome. I appreciate every one of you. Monty appreciates every one of you. We appreciate everything you do for us. So here is our Unify 24 port switch. We've got the two SFP ports uh, over here. Uh, the 24 gigabit ports, of course, the LED. So uh, where did those cameras go? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, frame still looks really good. All right, so now of course, don't get too hot and bothered about this because this is not what the actual wiring is gonna look like. I'm doing this as a demonstration. So what we have here is we have the G3 camera. We've got our 802.AF uh, adapter. We have our switch. Now, if we plug this guy in, and between the software and maybe some hardware changes, we can only do standard PoE with this. Um, we're gonna use these. Uh, now, <laughs> let me back up. So if this batch of cameras 
is uh, passive only, which it looks like it is, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go into a port, we'll make sure PoE, uh, the PoE uh, plus is turned on. Then on this side, it says PoE in, right? So we're gonna go from the switch to the AF adapter, right? So we got this hanging off the switch just like this. Then uh, uh, to the we, we will uh, go to the patch panel, um, or we'll yeah we'll go to the patch panel. Hold on, now I'm thinking about this. What? Yeah, we'll go to the patch panel. This will plug into the patch panel, right? But eventually it'll plug into this camera. So let's see here. Get another one of these cables. So then, how this goes is you take your adapter here, plug this guy in. And we're going to go into the camera. So of course it's not going to look like this because this camera is going to be mounted. It's going to have a structured cable run back to the patch panel. So, But in the end, uh, physically, it will be similar to this. So then this guy will knock down that, that full PoE into passive so that this uh, camera can operate correctly. So we got two of these guys, we got two access points. We've got the USG, the cloud key. We've got our adapters, the camera. We've got the UPS, we've got the Synology. Um, Monty is uh, making some good headway on the rack over here. Um, Monty, could I could I beg a favor? What? That? Can you get the server? Yeah, I'll get the server. All right. So the time that you've all waited for, Monty is going to go grab the server. So while Monty grabs the server, um, let's see here. So. Um, so we could put that adapter uh, anywhere we wanted. This adapter could go anywhere mm -hmm. in line. Um, for serviceability, um, okay, Troy, when we originally started the network build, he said, why not 148 port switch? When we originally started this build, we bought two switches because you know that this gear is inexpensive and um, we were gonna have two 24 port switches and one was gonna be kind of like a hot spare. Hot spare in case this guy goes down and we switch over to the other switch, right? Well, things just keep growing and growing and growing. How many employees are there approximately? Uh, I don't know how many employees are at this location, uh, but I do know that this USG is gonna have no problems handling the load. We're also doing voice over IP. Uh, we have ordered a phone system. Um, and that should be delivered in the next couple weeks. And yeah, and then that'll get installed and then the PCs will go into the back of the phones. I don't have that to show. But uh, we could put these anywhere in line. And I guess what we'll do is we'll actually, um, we'll act, oh, Tim is on his way. He says he's gonna be here in just a few minutes. Yeah. Um, so what, uh, what we could do is before we actually put these in line, because all of the other structured cabling can be in line before these are, are, are placed and the cameras are powered on, I'll ask the owner where he wants these in case he wants to be able to service these and doesn't have to pay us to come back on site to uh, take take uh, care of this. Do you have the, the switches, etc., into a battery backup device? Yes, we do. We have the CyberPower uh, UPS, and we calculated it with the initially with the load on everything. We'd have about 45 minutes of uh, runtime with this guy. All right, so check this out. Monty was playing Santa Claus. Don't tell me Santa Claus doesn't exist because does. I, see it, I see it show up and when Santa Claus brings me packages, it says Amazon Prime on it. Um, are, am I gonna put a, get a, together a list? Yes, I will put together a list. So thank you for asking that. We will put together a list. So um, this customer has never, has never had Active Directory. Uh, they've had standalone um, 
standalone workstations. So uh, Tim is actually going to go through the process of of joining all those machines to the domain. I will probably help him with the group policy and things like that. But this will be the first uh, active directory deployment at this company to kind of tie everything together. They have one application that will run from the server. So this server is uh, going to do uh, DNS, DHCP, and we'll have a backup uh, DNS server on the USG. It will run, will run to, um, but then uh, they get, they're going to have one application that's hosted on here, and then we're going to migrate all those workstations that have uh, single, uh, you know, like right now, we don't know how they're backing up. So we're helping them back all those files up to the workstation. Backups are paramount. Um, you know, I mean, backups are just as important as your network. You know, I mean, Monty, how important do you think backups are? Um, well, if this place catches on fire, you need one off-site, so... Yeah, and so that's that's common sense by Monty, I love it. That's almost like a deep thought by Jack Handy. Is somebody here? Yeah. Who's that? Tim. Tim! Tim Bear is here. Everybody hears me, um... Everybody hears me talk about Tim Bear, nobody gets to see him. He He's so tall, he's not even on the ladder. He just came, he just walked around here. Tim, we're gonna open this server real quick. You wanna come up here and do yeah, it? let's do it. I'm gonna, people are concerned about our safety and uh, rightfully so, but uh, I told him not to be too concerned. This is a very safe working environment. And, all right, so Don't Tim, hey, so Tim is actually gonna be the one who's gonna unbox this server and he's gonna explain it. Now, uh, Tim is a master WordPress developer. Uh, I work with Tim on a daily basis. Tim is also a master .NET developer. So any of your uh, programming needs, you can use the H5 technology contact form. We are partnered, or, or you can go, yep, it goes to him, all those programming things. The security stuff comes here, cable requests go to this dude right over here. So, all right. Let's take a look at this thing. We got, uh, got the power cord, obviously. Uh, set up poster. If you give us a poster. What? Yeah. We have, we have uh, a couple manuals and USB connector behavior, all that fun junk. And then the fun the fun stuff here. Take a look. I'm moving over those cams here. Take a look at this thing. What do we got? High phase smoke. You know, does your wife know we're live? Yeah, I told her. <laughs> she... She may or may not be watching at this point. That thing's kind of nice. It's awfully small. Yeah, we've deployed a few of these. I have not. This will, this will be my first one of these specific devices here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, a couple USB 3s on there. A couple USB 2.0s. Two NICs. And Rob, uh, we had a question from Rob Turner. He wants to know if you were worried about this thing being DOA. Uh, not yet, but now I am. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's the Gen 8. Um, I don't know if they're Gen 9. We literally just ordered this. Like this, this came. Uh, yeah, this is Gen 8. That's uh, Brian saying. Uh, I don't know if Gen 9. Yeah, Gen 8 seems to be the latest. You want to pop the front of this open? And this is the HPE stuff. This is the HP Enterprise. So you can see uh, that inside this guy, he's got four non-hot plugs. Yeah. So these are non hot pluggable, but they are the Barracuda uh, one terabyte drives. So Tim, how are you gonna partition, um, how are you gonna partition this? So I'm thinking we're gonna do two and two, um, depending on what the, the RAID controller allows. Uh, so we may just do two RAID ones, uh, mirror them, and because there's not gonna be a whole lot of data, we'll keep one for OS and one for data drive and call her good. So I don't think, uh, I don't think you're gonna do anything too crazy with this one, but a couple mirrored drives, if one fails, keep them up and going, swap a new one in there, rebuild, and keep keep rolling. So, And then I think Willie's got plans for a uh, second device for NAS for backups. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if he's doing one off-site. I don't know what the, the, they've decided on that yet, but yep, we'll at least have one. It's gonna go to the owner's house. Okay, there you go. So so we'll have two. Or your house. Or mine. No, no, no mine. you're on the same ISP as me, and exactly. they suck. Yeah, we're not doing it. <laughs> 
data caps. Data caps. Uh, I just went over last month again with my uh, terabyte. See, that's why Ridiculous. we, that's why we, well, I'm starting to build an ISP and I'm trying to talk this guy into building an ISP in his town. I'm trying to use his money to do my ISP, so yeah. we'll see what happens. You'd have to have, you'd have to have money. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's flip this guy over real okay. quick. Um, and let's take a look at the back. So as Tim was saying, you've got uh, one of these. Oh no, here's your ILO. So that's integrated lights out. So this is pretty much KVM over IP, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know if this came with, it came with, uh, it, it comes with some level of ILO, um, but I don't know if it, if it comes with like the full blown deal. You can get a 60 day trial. So you've got uh, VGA uh, here, you've got USB 3, USB 2, and you've got two LAN. So, um, and that's all of Tim's uh, ILO information that he just discarded haphazardly. I didn't discard it, I just put it, pulled it away. <laughs> didn't know if there's anything we shouldn't have on there, like and, passwords. And if you don't, if, yeah, <laughs> if you don't, if you haven't seen these uh, boxes, um, these things are awesome. What, we, what, what did the customer pay for this, Tim? Now, I want to tell you something. And Tim and I, and Monty, Hello. this is a, a moment of brutal honesty. We do not mark up parts. We oh. never mark up parts. We never make money off of hardware. When you buy hardware from us, it is at our cost. It is drop shipped to you. We never make money off it. There's, there's no sense in it. Right. There's absolutely no sense in it. in the butt as it is. Yeah. Why do we I mean, mark up and have to do all that fun stuff too? We're in the People's Republic of Illinois, so we... <laughs> <laughs> we South care. Chicago. Yes. So, all right, so here's the inside. Tim's going to give you a little tour here. Yeah. See if we can figure it out the, the quick way in and out of this thing. So it looks like we've only got one uh, RAM. So we've got what eight gigs of RAM in this thing. We can put another eight gig in there and get it up to 16 if we needed to. But being you know simply, it's going to be Active Directory for a handful of users and file share. Yep. You know we're not going to be doing too much crazy with this thing. Um, I think you know, this this guy was take this thing all apart. But I'm, yeah, I'm kind of not feeling. Like I'm gonna to want to do take everything so that's security lock for the front well, nozzle. Well, if Tim, when Tim gets us home, because Tim's gonna take this guy home and he's gonna load that Windows server that you saw me uh, handling over there, right? So if Tim takes this guy apart, uh, he'll take pictures. Yep. He'll send them to me, and I'll put them in a follow-up video. And yes, go Cubs, go. Go Cubs. Uh, we everybody saw them beat the Pirates on Friday. And then lost yesterday. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? We got, at, we got them at one today. Uh, the price tag on this machine, I believe we were sub $800 on yeah, this. Yeah, it was, it was real close to 800 if not under, you know, with the OS, we're under a grand. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and we yeah. explained the Windows Server 2016 and, and everything. Yep, yep. So, all right, and uh, I got my wife who's hungry in the car, so we should probably box this thing back up and all right. take off so we can uh, get going. But yeah, I'll get some pictures to you guys. I'll uh, get them over to Willie so he can post them. Get them up on H5 if we're doing something, doing a gallery or something like well, that. Well, and we're gonna or... we're gonna start blogs. We're oh, gonna start okay. we're gonna start blogging. Yep, there we go. So I want to start a podcast, just one that's like off the cuff and if it, time time right. Exactly. Yeah. So Tim's got a, a bunch of kiddos. I got a bunch of kiddos. Monty's got a bunch of cats. I have two cats, yeah. Yeah, so they eat up a lot of his time. <laughs> All of it. And cats are a-holes. Everybody knows that. Yeah. I'm walking out right now. Oh, right oh, oh. Everybody. She just popped the prong collar. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, mine's calling next. So yeah, I, I got a two-month-old who just ate and is probably still kind of cranking a little bit. And a two-year-old who's probably thinking, that, where's that? I'm hungry. And If you <laughs> need an excellent website, this is a shameless plug for my friend Tim. If you need an awesome WordPress website, you need your uh, current site evaluated, go out to h5technology.com. Uh, you can find the link in the other videos. Um, or you can go to tbear.com. Uh, just let him know that you found him through us, and uh, Tim will take care of you. And then tbear.com, tbear.com, h5technology.com. We could load uh, ESXi 6.5, the free version, on there, but um, I, I think we're going to be kind of hands off in this deployment once it's done. And so I don't want to give I don't want to give the customer any more to manage than what they have to. Windows Server is easy, it's point and click. If there's a problem, he can fire off an email to Tim, he can fire off an email to me. Uh, Windows Server, at its, at its, yes, and there, yep, that's the 2016. But Windows Server, at its basics for what we're doing, gonna be very simple for this customer uh, to keep you know the reoccurring billing down. So we don't like to take advantage of people. Uh, there'll be full documentation on site, 
so that if the customer decides he doesn't want to use us, he doesn't have to use us. So we believe in that transparency um, and we believe in being friendly to the customers. And that's just how it is. And maybe we lose a little bit of, of uh, business that way, but I'll tell you what, I don't have any problems putting my pillow, my head on my pillow and sleeping at night. Do you, Tim? Not at all. But and you know what, along with that, you know, the customer appreciates it, so they're gonna call us back anyway. Yeah, so, and Monty is the same way. So there, there will actually be, in this rack, there will be an actual phys physically printed um, manual that will explain the whole thing. Now, it will be locked. Um, it will be locked. The owner will have the key. And um, other than that, uh, you know, we will have it as a, a, a PDF and we'll have it available. But yes, uh, David, we fully document everything that we do. It's very important. If you've got a vendor who is charging you, um, charging you, period, I don't care what the price is. Right. And they're not giving you documentation, call us. We'll take care of you. All right, Tim is out of here. Tim's signing we'll off. See ya. Big thumbs up for Tim. Thanks for stopping by, yeah, Tim. No problem, too. And you got your you got your software? Yep, I threw it in here, so we're good. All right, man. Thanks. So Tim's out. Tim's gonna go. Uh, Tim's gonna go feed the family. Um, we've all got an appreciation for that. <laughs> see you, buddy. Later, Sam. So back over here, here's that Unify kit we were talking about. Uh, tools over there, which we're going to have to have in a little bit, because as soon as Monty uh, gets me some rails inside this guy, well, and I'm talking, and I'm sure you're distracted by the talking. Um, no, Aaron, that is not, no, this is not my home. No, this is not a Meraki switch. If this was, if this was my home, oh, this would be awesome. Talk about Man Cave Central. Uh, so interestingly enough, on, that, on the uh, question about Meraki, uh, in August, I have confirmed they are sending me one of everything that I use in the Ubiquiti Unify line. They're going to send me one of everything, and um, I get it for uh, 15 days, no questions asked. I don't have to sit through any seminars. Now, I could sit through the webinars, and I could get the free gear. Uh, I don't have enough lab space for that and i don't know that i want the gear right so after the 15 days is up they are going to be videos head-to-head -head videos um you know unify versus um meraki, meraki. yes uh i am a, i am a cisco fan you know i cut my teeth back in the late 90s on cisco and all the vendors that were around then uh you know i don't know if you guys remember the ascend pipeline 50s you know, those were a, a router. They were small, but they had an integrated CSU DSU. They were awesome. Support was $350 an hour. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we are going to do some Meraki uh, Unify Heads Up stuff. So, um, you know, uh, we're not really that close to the roof. Uh, this The phone stuff is giving us... Uh, there is at least a foot um, above my head and the uh, the rafters so uh, I am not going to yes Sean I actually have a uh, uh, I have the the TDI I have uh, uh, the uh, one of the ones has been recalled and so they're gonna have to do something to it but all right so um, here's the unify kit the rack is going in so uh, we've been live for almost an hour um, and uh, I think that we got to get down to business because Monty's got to leave, I've got to leave, and we want to make some progress on this. So, uh, Monty, let's uh, let's see if we can what we can do here. So, uh, I don't know how good this looks, but behalf on behalf of my my channel, uh, on behalf of Monty and myself, thank you for being here today. Yeah, if you, yes, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of Monty, put it in the comments so Monty can see the comments because I will turn him loose with a GoPro. And uh, we'll put videos up of Monty doing structured wiring, explaining things like that. He sure. does gaming. He builds PCs so I we mean, can do builds. I don't know if I want to play games online, but well, yeah. But, uh, Who knows what happens. Yeah. So we want to thank you. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use my Amazon affiliate links that you find in the other videos. It's always appreciated. Keeps a couple bucks rolling into the channel. Keep things interesting. And uh, we will see you tonight in that uh, other video. Have, Have a great day. day.